I was making a video, it got hot. All right. So what we're gonna do, it's hotter than horse shit. I was going off on Congress. I'm gonna send that one right to them. See how they like that. I'm gonna send it right to the White House. I guess I could send it to the Capitol and the National Washington Post and New York Times and Los Angeles Times and WJLA and all that. Just get busy. Right, America? You believe in something. I believe in my cooking program. I stake my life on it. If you don't know, now you know. <laughs> I made myself so healthy. I ran a marathon. I lost 50 pounds. I've been fighting a handicap. Yes, who owns a speed record at Hayward Field for Masters? Jeff John, AK Store does. Who's known by very famous people? Why? Because I did something, man. I did something special, man. I'm no greater than any person, man. Famous people are famous because they worked hard at something, man. They believed in something. They had vision, man. They kept that vision alive, man. You don't know, man. So many of them gave up freedom to have security for all of us. Freedom, their freedom for our security. That sounds like some soldier stuff. Yo, the president knows who my family is because my father did something long ago. Foot soldier of Selma, man. Turn this back up. So I'm gonna give it to you. Gonna give it to you the truth, I say. Gonna bring it every day, strong as can be. Yeah, man. Thor's Gonna love it every day, I say. Gonna talk about the food and change the USA. I'm trying to do this little thing, I say. Fell out of the sky with a horn hammer one day. Change everything in a state of grace. Came to do everything and rock this place. I drop some Cajun seasoning into my chili. And don't you know it's gonna be right? Cumin got something going through this too. Going through this thing, old fight. Got the red. Onions, <laughs> red peppers as we go. Red onions and red peppers. Red onions and red peppers. <sighs> put in the heat, put in the roll, put in the what? There we go. Got the some heat, gonna give it to you. Heat, gonna give it to you. Love it too. Yeah. <laughs> Wash your hands. Why? Give me rabbit. What are you gonna do? I say, I say, has anybody else come along this way? Come along and poor as could be to make something that will change everybody in the country. Come across this little bit of town, talking out all Eugene Bound, talking about all the good food, I say, talking about how I came across and made my play. Ran a marathon as I did. Mar ran a half marathon when I was the kid. Ran with a little fellow out in uh, Duke of Butte and it was uh, a round thing to do. Yeah, we rolled. That's how I get down, don't you know? Run with the kids every day, having fun. This is how we get down and we play. Out in the Eugene town in Springfield, don't you know, this is how we go. And so we're gonna give it to you, have some fun today, this is how we get rolled on the way. Gonna make some roux in the pan, getting it right, don't you know, this is how I freestyle, man. Just picking it up a little bit of groove, everything I do, I do for you. Every day, everything, oh I love and I love and I play. Gonna put in some juice and make it all right. The beans too, why not? Go through the same every single day. Gonna make some food and make my plate. All this thing is all alright. Gonna make some food and food tonight. Hey! What? Get it down, don't you know? We're gonna get this food out on this way. Make this food out every day. Oh yeah. 
So we're gonna get what? Then we're gonna ho! Then we're gonna what? Then we're gonna go! Go! Oh, I'm almost out of cornstarch, don't you know? That's bad. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> it's my sauce creation that changes the nation. A little bit of cornstarch and some water will make this a nicer creation. Put a sheen on the top is what it'll do. And a little bit of um, uh, beef uh, base here. It's an okay product, got it from... Um, you want some fat in your beef base, see how it's like stuck in my hand? You can get it refrigerated, of course, is always a better product. But of course, then you gotta watch it too. Now, if you wanna take beef bones, roast them down and put um, roasted vegetables and maybe put a tomato on there, make an espanol or not, and just make some brown sauce eight hours later after your bones are all um, roasted, and then put them in a pot and cold water and um, all your mirepoix and, and handle the business. <laughs> it takes a while. All right. And there's one there. That was our uh, You guys know I like to clean while I do this stuff. Alright. And then I'm going to put my potatoes in. And I'm going to put them at the top because I don't want them to cook anymore and I don't want to break them up. But I do want them to cook like potatoes in uh, like um, Vindaloo or uh, uh, um, Bombay potatoes where they make them in, right in the hot ghee and the, um, oh, I love Bombay potatoes and, and curry. See how it came up like that man, see that? I love that dude. That's when rice is done. It might be just a hair wet at the bottom. I, don't, I stirred that, not at all. I just put in the right amount of water, brought it to a boil and or a light simmer, and just put an inch and a half to two inches of water to an inch of only one portion. Two inches if it's like four portions like that, four to five portions. And just let it go at a mild simmer with a little bit of butter in there and you see how flaky my rice comes out, man. Yeah, yeah. See how flaky that is? Well, that's best to do. All right. That's our chili too. Oh, I'm gonna um add. I already added a lot of that. <laughs> or added a lot of that smoky seasoning. Um, there's already a lot of chili powder in there. Let's put some more of that in. That's cumin. I got something like Smoky hot paprika is what I'm looking for right now. It's really bright red. That's it right there. See, it's really bright red. And it's smoky, and it's not that hot. It's a little spicier than regular paprika. And so what I do with heat levels here is I'm putting red pepper in, I'm putting paprika and putting chili powder in there, I'm putting chipotle in there, I'm putting smoky seasoning in there, which is also has lavender back to it, which is the key agents say don't put in no uh, don't put any uh, Cajun in there unless you put a little lavender. Don't put any Cajun pepper unless it's lavender or something like that. I said it before on the show. I'm tired, guys. I've been working today. I actually just... I grab my balls and get down with life. <laughs> I have no illusions that, like, it's going to be easy. Oh, and guess what I haven't put in there since I put the meat in? Salt. That's really like how I like to cook. I like to put it on the meat and put it on like starch a little bit, like potatoes and eat salt if you cook with them, like I'm adding it now. But um, like even rice, I'll put a hair in there, but not much. Pasta, you gotta salt it. But then I wait to the end and that's when I salt. Well, that's right. I wanted to add one more level of heat to this. 
Because I can't wash my hands or touch my hands anyway. So. It's a habanero. Alright, I'll be back.